me. Hello everyone, happy Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month and welcome to the first food demonstration video of the month. This week I invited my dad to teach you all how to make the famous Filipino dish adobo, which is sort of like a marinated meat stew with a soy sauce and vinegar base. In this video, my dad will be making pork adobo, but this dish can also be made with other types of meat like chicken, goat, or squid. Adobo comes with a few very simple ingredients, but it is an extremely flavorful dish. It also pairs really well with rice. One more thing I want to point out before my dad starts cooking is that there honestly is no such thing as measurements. <laughs> my dad thankfully put together a recipe for you all if you'd like to make it at home, but just like most Filipino cooking, Everything is by your own taste, and there's not really a specific measurement for anything. All right, let's get cooking. Okay, I uh, wanna show you guys how to make uh, pork adobo, Filipino style. Okay, pork loin, around two pounds. Wash it first. So fresh pork loin, wash it, and put it in the pot. Put it in the pot. Put water, uh, warm, boil, boil, boil the meat 20 minutes in high heat. Now after uh, 20 minutes, it's done boiling, you can turn off the stove, bring the meat, and put it on the pan. Watch out, be careful, it's hot. Wash it with top water. Wash with top water. And I make sure your hand is clean though. <laughs> okay, it's, the meat is so hot. So, right, wash it, rinse it, maybe twice. All right, then bring this over here. As my dad is cutting the meat, he also wanted to mention that if you're making pork adobo, you could really use any part of the pig. You could use the belly or even the bone parts. It's really up to you. This is how cubes, how big when you cut it. Some has uh, fat and meat. So I put it there. You can use any kind of vinegar, I guess, but I, I prepared the uh, apple cider vinegar, uh, soy sauce whole uh, pepper, I smash it, so you can uh, taste the peppery, and probably a few of bay lips, garlic, I smash the garlic, and chop it, probably around uh, one whole garlic, good, Brown pepper that I smashed. Put it there. Alright, then uh, bay leaves and vinegar, soy sauce. Water There you go. Make sure that you mix that mix ready to cook in a high heat. When you see it boiling, you put down the heat to medium for 45 to 1 hour. 
then taste the meat if it's soft and it's already cooked but make sure that you don't let dry make sure that there is a soup like my dad said once it comes to a boil you're going to cook it on medium heat for about 45 minutes to an hour but while you do that make sure you mix it up now and then and even give it a taste test as well you might want to add some more vinegar or soy sauce or other seasonings in there it's all up to your taste and also you can put a uh, potato this if you want it now I guess it's almost done the meat is almost done Please. Okay, we're gonna taste it now. This is the bone that I put, but see the bone, there's a lot of meat. Mmm. Good. That's, That's so good. good. With rice, it's good too. Yeah. Yay. Good job, Dad. <laughs> Just let me know if you guys need to cook me adobo for you guys. <laughs> This adobo was so good. It is definitely one of my favorite dishes that my dad makes and I hope you can make it too. I put my dad's recipe in the description on this post so feel free to try this dish at home. My Filipino heritage is something that I will always treasure. From the history, the culture, the people, and of course the food. I am extremely proud to be a Filipina and the daughter of a great cook like my dad. For more fun demonstrations like this and more AAPI Heritage Month content, check out the Rock Creek Multicultural Center on Instagram and YouTube. Happy Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month!